Hey guys, Jake here, and today we're at Pep Ipswich with a bunch of Ipswich Woo! legends. <laughs> and I'm just going to show these guys how to use trigger balls and foam rollers to loosen up their sore muscles. And we're going to shoot on the video so you guys can check it out too. So, um, Chelsea's just going to just basically follow me around. Okay. okay? Now, how many have we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. So, what we're going to do, team, my favorite thing ever are these trigger balls. Okay, so first I'm going to teach you how to use them. And I'm going to teach you how to loosen up all the most common sore spots, okay, that you're all going to have right now, okay? And then I'll show you the best uh, three or four exercises to do on the foam roller, and we'll practice each one to make sure we're doing them properly as well. Sounds good? Okay, so the first thing and most common, uh, people get stiff lower backs and stiff hips, okay? And nine times out of ten, that's really just from uh, tight glutes, tight hip flexors, I'm going to show you how to use the ball. Now, the balls come in three different colours. Yellow is a little bit soft, okay? So if you're new, then you use yellow. Uh, orange is medium, and uh, red is hard, okay? So basically, I'm just going to give you a one based on how much I like you. If I like you, I'll give you a yellow one because it won't hurt I don't like you as much as you It's for our glutes, okay? So we're going to hop down on the elbow and we're lying like this. Now we have two main parts of our glutes. We have our glute max, which you would know as your butt, okay? And we have our gluteus medius, which sits behind the hip. Start with, we're going to work on our max. So you're going to take the ball and you're going to sit it under your butt. And then you're just going to like literally sit on it until you find a sore spot. If it's sore, you're going to stay on that spot. Yeah. And making facial expressions doesn't help. <laughs> Alright, so you'll feel it after 10 to 15 seconds. Start to relax. Okay? And once it relaxes, guess what you're going to do then? Yeah, you're going to find a different spot. There should be three or four spots in the main part, the big part of your glute there. Everyone having fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so creeping around a couple more spots. Now usually you know, if you're tired in this spot before training is the best time to do it, particularly before a day like Tuesday or Saturday where you're going to be doing squats and deadlifts with the barbells in particular. So usually we do both sides, we spend two, three, four minutes on each side, but today we're going to obviously know that we're a bit quicker because we've got about 30 minutes. Okay? And then out of those 30 things, you'll probably find the five that help you the most, and you'll use them a lot. Does that make sense? And everyone will have some different source blocks. Next, we're going to get into the gluteus medius. This is the muscle that stabilizes our hip, okay? But it often gets really tight, and then we get stiff lower back. So, to get into that one, all you're going to do is pop the ball a little bit higher. So, like the pants line, kind of on the pants line, but behind your hip. Love handles, you know, area. Oh no. That's <laughs> brutal, man. You got a sore spot there? That's brutal. Yeah. Everyone feel that one? Awesome. And the more you do it, the less painful it's going to be. And a lot of you guys, you know, being pretty new, obviously your body's in a bit of shock sometimes, and uh, those muscles are going to be really sore. But that's <laughs> more reason to do these exercises. It's going to help you uh, train and recover, train pain-free and recover better. Yeah, and not pain free. All right, and again, you'll have two or three spots. Notice how I've changed my hips and I can dig into a different spot. Okay, so you change the angle of your body and you'll be able to find different spots in there. Yeah. Is anyone regretting staying behind today? No. <laughs> Temporarily regretting it, but you'll love the idea, okay? And these balls, you can easily just get these from like uh, Rebel Sport or somewhere. These are just a great little thing to do frequently. So, 
Dylan. Oh, dog oh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said that was Okay, now we're going to get to our hip flexor. So this is the muscle that um, sits at the front of our hip here, okay, in front of the hip bone. So we sit down all day, which means it gets really tight, all right, and that can pull on our hips and give us a stiff back. So what you're going to do is bend your legs slightly, and you're actually going to roll here onto the front of your hip, okay? And you're going to push into that muscle in the front of the hip. It's the crease of your hip. So you bend your leg a little bit and that'll help you find exactly the spot. Okay, can everyone feel that? Yes. Great. So you'll figure out which spots to do on the sore ones. And remember them because they're the ones you need to do regularly to make a big impact. It's like anything, you have your 80-20 rule, you're going to get 80% of the going to be the but everyone's weight is going to be Hey, Jake. Help. I can feel something go right, like something go right down my yeah. yeah, that's normal. Okay. But if you feel it, just relax for a second and then try again. So if you're getting like a tingly feeling, that's just the, your nerves basically being overloaded a little bit. So when you find a sore spot, what that is is where all the nerve endings meet. You like a cluster of nerve endings. And when they get angry, basically they say to your body, tighten up all those muscles. Because we don't want to hurt ourselves. Okay? Because your body's just in defense mode, freaking out. It doesn't know that you're working out in a controlled environment. It just thinks, you've been sitting on your butt for 10 years and now you're doing all these things. I need to protect myself. And that's why it tightens up all the muscles. Does that make sense? Yeah. So by stimulating those nerve endings, uh, that you're telling them to relax, and then all the muscles around them relax. So if you get a shooting kind of tingly thing, that's just the nerve saying, what the hell are you doing? Just relax for a second. Try again, but lightly. Okay, try again lightly and keep doing that and it'll feel a lot better. Yeah. Okay, and the most common one you get is when you see one of your glutes and it'll tingle down the back. Maybe that's a sciatic nerve. Anyone know sciatica? It's like, yeah, that. All right, so once you've done those for your glutes, then you're gonna do that stretch we did at the end of the workout. So if you're coming in, you're a bit tight in the hips and you're 10 minutes early, you sit on the ball, do your glute ones, and then you do this piriformis stretch. So your piriformis is a muscle that attaches your femur, which is this bone here, to the bottom of your spine. So if it's tight, you're gonna have a sore back. Okay, so most common, reason for a sore back. Knee to the chest and then foot comes around. Okay, and you'll feel that stretch. And you'll feel the stretch a heck of a lot better after doing the trigger pointing than you will have before. Because you've relaxed all those muscle fibers. Oh, wow. Good. So yeah, knee to the chin and then bring your foot around. So actually you've got one hand on the knee, one hand on the ankle. So you're actively pulling your knee down to your chest, that's it. And just relax, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so that's how to loosen up the glutes. Sounds good? Yeah. Everyone felt something working there? Beautiful. Now the second most common one is upper back tightness and shoulder tightness and shoulder tension. Like who gets sometimes tense in the shoulders? Okay. So I'm gonna show you a few quick exercises you can do there. Now, uh, exercise number one, lying on the floor. I'm just going to show you a bunch and then we're just going to go out and practice them. Okay, because some of them you'll need a wall, some of them you need a doorway, some of them you just lie on the floor. Okay, first one is we're just going to put the ball. Now, don't ever trigger point a bone. You can't loosen up a bone. So, putting the ball into your spine is going to be painful and it's not going to help you. So, don't do that. You want to put into the muscles, so the muscles up either side of our spine, okay? So again, you're just finding a sore spot and relaxing. You might also try actually just moving your arm around and those muscles will move and you'll find the range of motion will start to free up, as in you'll be able to move more freely, okay? As those muscles relax. And then you can find another spot, okay? Find a spot first and then start moving around. All right, so that one, if you're like skipping, walking. hit the upper back, you're gonna feel that a lot. Now, everyone come over here. Now, because most of the walls here are thin, the next 
sometimes a little bit challenging, but you just want to find a spot of wall that's solid. Doors are good, but make sure they're shut properly and they aren't going to uh, break on you. But basically, come closer, come closer. We're going to pop the ball in here, and this just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver around and find those sore spots. So who's ever been to a massage therapist and they've put their thumb into a spot, right, and then you feel it relaxed? Yeah. You're doing the exact same thing here. All they're doing is finding trigger points and, and releasing them, okay? So you're doing the same. You can get up here into your trap muscles, okay? But mostly with this one, you want to focus on your upper back. You can also get into these erector spinae muscles down either side of your back here, like this. And you can go up and down. Okay, just pushing back into the ball for pressure and one of the most common ones is you get tightness in the side here so the muscle called your quadratus lumborum or your QL okay so you're going to stick into the side like this and again if you've ever had a deep tissue massage they would have dug right into the side here and for most people that's going to be a fair bit of stiffness and tightness sitting in there okay so that's some upper back ones and then there's an awesome one for your traps where you need a good doorway, okay? We don't have many good doorways for this here, but at home you'll, you'll find a spot. You're gonna be like a rugby scrum, okay? Put this around, uh, say, your sternum height, and then you're gonna just push into the ball like that. See how my head's to the side of the door? That's why you need a doorway. It won't work if you try and do it at the wall, okay? <laughs> Especially you got a big head like me. So you need to be in a doorway like this, or in a corner of a wall, okay? And again, you'll find different spots in there, push into it. A lot of people carry a lot of tension in there, okay? Uh, if you've got forward sitting shoulders, you can loosen up the pecs, and in particular the pec minor, which is this band of muscle at the top. If that's tight, your shoulders are going to sit forward and you're going to get shoulder pain, okay? And same thing, just a different angle now. You're pushing in there and, and that'll feel a bit stiff and sore. So again, when we go out here, you're just looking for what's sore for you. Some of you guys will be really stiff through here. Some of you will be really stiff through here. Find what's sore for you. And we're just gonna kind of practice for a few minutes. Sounds good? Okay, we'll go through them and then I'll show you how to use those rollers. And we'll be good to go. Yeah. Before I even came here. Yeah, yeah. Headaches and things? Yeah. Yep. Not good now. Yeah. That's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Just pushing, pushing it. Just thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Just pushing it. Yeah. So you can use that doorway over there. Yeah, try it in the doorway. Yeah. And try that one in the doorway as well. How does that feel? Feels good? Yeah. Thanks a lot. The back one like this. Scrum. Like a scrum. Like a scrum. Okay. Yeah. And then front rower. That's yep. it. And then just, just push into the ball. Oh yeah. Okay. Find a sore spot. Push yep. into it. Oh yeah. Right yep. And leave it there for 10 seconds or until it relaxes. Yep. Perfect. Try not to push the wall over. Right. Okay. That one's holding up the roof. Right. Okay. Yep. Right. Beautiful. How's that going? Okay. All right. But what about what was the one for the top of the shower yeah, again? Yeah. Yeah. Same deal. But this yeah. time you're just going to get down. Oh right. Was it stern so, height? Yep, right, so yep. try this one and do yep. your left one just because you've got the door in the yeah, way here. Okay. So you're going to push this muscle into the ball. That's okay. it. And then you just move your body around. So just think of a rugby scrum for that one. Perfect. Okay, one more minute, guys, to practice those ones. If you're lying on the ground, keep your eyes open. 
better as long as it's not like a really uh, hard pain if that makes sense right so if it's like a sharp something stop now we're going to just do a few basics on the foam roller and then if you've got any particular sore spots that have been giving you grief we'll have a little bit of uh, Q&A like oh, I've got this sore spot and we'll see if we can help it okay but first things first let's all grab one of these foam rollers yeah, pop the balls in the bag there. Now, if you're going to buy a foam roller, I recommend you get one of these ones, okay? The, those ones are fine, but over time they will lose their shape. You see, some of them are a bit oblong shapes now, okay? These ones are, will keep their shape for longer. Okay. The first one we're going to do is loosen up our upper back. So, we're going to pop the roll in between our shoulder blades and really simply, we're going to roll forward and back over the roller. Forward and back, nice and easy. Alright, can everyone feel that? Should just be a nice massage, shouldn't be too painful that one. And then, what I want you to do is get in the middle of your shoulder blades and then just try leaning back over it. So imagine all day, every day, we kind of sit hunched over a computer screen or a steering wheel. We're just trying to reverse that. And then, just slide down a centimetre or so, so one vertebrae down, and you can do the same thing. Five or six seconds, try and relax. Okay, just trying to find where you feel that you're really stiff. <coughs> and all you're doing there is trying to mobilise the discs of your up and back. Okay? Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to dig into those muscles of the upper back a little bit more. So you're going to do the same thing, this time cross your arms and lean to one side. So you're going to put all the pressure through one side, right up through your traps here. Down to your mid back. Yep. So you should feel a bit more uh, fun times with this one because you got all the pressure going through one side. That's it. Down to the mid back and then switch over to the other side. Same thing, your profile on one side a bit tighter than the other. Find where it's 
tights, and then if you've got a good spot, just sit on it. Yeah. So you can imagine uh, watching TV on the weekend, and you can do a few of these exercises for five or ten minutes. Your body will feel so much better straight away, but also you know you'll recover much better for next week. Again, like always, just moving around. Once that spot's released, find a new spot. muscle down the side of our legs called the ITB and if you thought you knew pain before today you're about to redefine it for some of you. <laughs> this is probably the smallest one that the roller will cause grief but it's also really really beneficial okay especially going to help you with your squats okay if you're stiff in the squats or you get any knee pain usually the ITBs will be stiff. So this time we're going to hop up into this position so we're on our elbow, bottom leg straight, top leg up here like this, in front of our bottom leg. And we're going to use our leg and our forearm here to push ourselves up and down the roller. Okay? Up and down the roller. And again, you adjust the angle of your hips to find different spots. Okay? until you start to get used to it. So you want to try and straighten the bottom leg as much as you can. Bottom leg straight, and top leg will actually sit in the front. Oh, oh wait, that's very different. <laughs> yeah, and then as you get used to it, you can try it down on your left elbow and just see what feels more comfortable, hands or your elbow. That's it. Okay, everyone feels that one? Feels good? Okay, and two more that I'll show you with the roller for the legs, and then we'll have any uh, Q and A. Uh, first one's the calves. Now, the calves is two different muscles, okay? And when we roll them, it's easy to do them in their two parts. So you have this bottom part here, which is called your soleus, okay? So you actually got to lift your butt off the ground here a little bit, and you're simply going to roll up and down the bottom part of your calf. Try moving your toes around. As in, go toes to the inside, toes to the roof, toes to the outside. Now you got it. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Pull down back. If you want to make it harder, you pop your other foot on top of your foot. And you can push down on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so if you get a sore heel, usually what's happening is your uh, soleus, it attaches to your heel via your Achilles tendon. Okay, so a tendon attaches a muscle to a bone, that's what it does. So if the muscle is tight, the tendon is tight, the tendon falls on your heel and that's where the pain comes from. So yes, you loosen that up. You can use the roll up or another exercise that I'll show you in a second. And the other one is to uh, it's called your gastrocnemius, which is the media part of the calf. And you can do the same thing, that's just the top half. Okay, so just change the start position and push the media part of the calf into the roller. And usually if you 
point your toes out, you'll have a band of muscle there on the outside of the calf. That'll be quite tight. <laughs> awesome. Now, so if you're having troubles doing that or you haven't got a roller at home, the other great one for your calves, which you might have done at boot camp before, is just push your knee into the calf. And again, you're just trigger pointing. So you can push your knee into it. Keep your foot flat on the ground, so your shoelaces are on the ground. And then you dig your knee into the sore spots. If you do a lot of running, or like today we did some jumping exercises, your calves will probably be a bit stiff tomorrow. If you wear heels a lot, especially you guys that aren't used to it, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, those muscles will be really tight. Okay? Um, some of you also, just getting back into your exercise, you'll get a, uh, this guy in the front of your tight. You can actually just use your thumbs to trigger point. It's called your anterior tibialis, the muscle that sits in front of the shin. It does a lot of work when you jump and when you run. And it's usually pretty unconditioned, out of condition, so it all gets super tight. Has anyone ever had shin splints before? Yeah, the most common reason for that is this muscle gets really tight and it actually attaches to that bone all the way down. So when it's tight, it pulls on the bone and that's where you get the pain. And, you know, even just thumbs into muscles, like don't forget you were given these guys and you can loosen things up manually. Now you can use your elbow into your quad really effectively. Okay. Uh, has anyone got any sore spots that we haven't covered yet? Okay, cool. In the back of your knee, okay? So it's very likely that your hamstring's tight. And I'll quickly grab a bench. If you ever get tight hamstrings, this exercise will change your life in both good and bad ways. Painful at first, but it will help a lot. So you want to find a solid bench. Or well, what's even better than a bench if you have one of those uh, blocks over there? If I thought of that before, I would have grabbed the block. But basically, you're going to sit with your foot off the ground, and pop the ball into your hamstring muscle, and then you're going to straighten it out. Okay? And you'll feel it like that. I can feel that it's tight. And then second time, you loosen up. And you, again, you'll just find the sore spots. So the box is better than the bench because the bench is a bit soft. So yeah, if you're tight here, it's again, you know, most likely causes a tight muscle, all right, which then puts pain where it attaches to the bone. The only way we can move our, boi our, our, uh, our joints, our bones, is because muscles attach on the other side, right? So it's going to attach in here somewhere, and you'll get pain where it attaches if that goes really tight. And that can happen, you know, on one side because you favour it when you're trying to take a step or whatever. Or maybe have a sore knee or a funny gait. Or sometimes it can be because of weakness. So you can actually work on strengthening the hamstrings as well. So uh, lots of stiff legged deadlifts, things like that. Yep. Uh, even those bands, get the bands, tie them around something. Uh, lie on your tummy and practice some um, leg curls. So if you ever come into a boot camp early, loosen it up first and then grab some bands and start doing some leg curls. Okay. And um, that should help a lot. Any other sore spots? Yeah. Back of the arm. Cool. After exercise or just all the time? After. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. On both arms? Yeah. Okay, cool. So most likely that's just muscle damage, which is 100% cool. But if you want to loosen up, the best way I find for triceps is actually just your hand. Use your thumb. And you're just trigger pointing like that. So you just sit and you can relax your arm. So you want to put, so if you sit on a chair, you can pop your arm on your leg. Because if you're holding it in the air, you're kind of tense. So you've got to relax it first and then just dig in. You can go up against the wall and you know, kind of do that as well with the ball. Um, but I find, like I said, just use your fingers, use your thumb to dig around.
Yep, hamstrings. Oh, I did forget to show you. You can, you can use the hamstrings uh, with the roller. Okay, like this. Again, find where it's stiff by turning your toes. Usually you'll have a band on the inside of the hamstring that'll be tight there. Okay, but you can also go like that. And if you get tight adductors, which are the muscles on the inside of the leg here, another one that I forgot to show you, right angle, and we're just going side to side. Like that. Okay, if you get tight there. So if you do a bunch of sumo squats or lunges and those muscles are really tight, then that one will be awesome. Cool? All right, sweet as guys, if you want to stick around for five or ten minutes practicing these, you're more than welcome to. If you want to rock and roll, you're more than welcome to as well. Have a great weekend. Thanks for coming. Make sure you drink lots of water. And live a good life. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.